In this video, we're going to be working on web albums. Uh, we're going to show you how you can use Picasso to create your own uh, web space for your photos. So you can send them out to people and have hundreds of photos up there um, and just send it as a link instead of attachments and you can have it as a storehouse for all of your photos. So I created a special album just called Cuba here and that's just a good idea to just have all your photos organized ahead of time so you can just have them all ready to upload. So um, I have this album here called Cuba and um, the first thing you want to do, just like you do with everything else, is guess what? Select the photos that you'd like to upload. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these six photos. I look down here and I see my selection tray. I have these six photos. Very good. Now what you want to do is come down to the bottom with all of your icons and click on Upload. All right, it says Upload to Web Albums. And then just like that, I get a new window that pops up and it says Upload to this album. Cuba, yes indeed, thank you. And then it just says size to upload, and I'm going to do the recommended. You can check out some of the other ones if you like, but I would suggest just keeping it as is. Okay, and then you also have the option visibility for this album. Do you want it to be public, unlisted, or people have to sign in to do it? Unlisted just keeps it out of the public realm, and also it's only by invite only. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it as is for right now. You also see here that you get about one gigabyte of, of space to put up there for free. Then you can also upgrade, and I think it's like, I don't remember exactly the cost, maybe it's like $10 a year or something like that for more than that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and upload, and you'll watch as I do that. It says uploading one of six, and then it'll continue to go and go and go. So I'm probably going to cut off the video at this point, and then recontinue after that just to save on time because I want to keep it under 10 minutes. Okay, now that we've got our photos all uploaded, um, our window should turn into something that looks like this, all right? And it should say View Online, all right? And that's pretty much what you want to do at this point. Click on View Online, and then it's actually going to take you to the website, all right? Now, you should actually have been logged on at this point, okay? Um, those of you should have actually signed up for an account at this point, those of you who are in the Ollie class, those of you who are watching on YouTube in general, you, you must have a web albums account before you do any of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on view online. And just like that, it takes me to my web albums. Okay, and it tells me here, my photos, Cuba, etc., etc. So the remainder of this video is going to be showing you basically how to work with some of these things within it. Okay, so number one, I can watch a slideshow just by clicking on slideshow, watching it. And then you can go forward and backward this way you can decide how many seconds you want to have it be shown things like that right you can also close it and go back to all of your your library here um, and then you can also um, share it okay sharing it basically means do you want to email it to people so if I click on share okay it's going to allow me to put in email addresses okay and then I can just go ahead and send it out just like that and people get a thumbnail it's as easy as could possibly be I'm going to go ahead and discard this, say OK, and then it's going to take me back here. All right, so that's really a nice, nice feature because if I had about 100 features, or, excuse me, 100 pictures right here, I can go ahead and just click on share and then it just sends them all out just like that, but it doesn't take up a lot of space because it's just a link to your web album. Okay, this download, this actually allows you to download pictures um, back to Picasa. This is basically for people who are viewing your pictures um, that are not you. Uh, make a collage, make a movie. We're not going to get into this for right now. Uh, the key pit is with the edit, so let's just focus on that. All right, so you can order prints from here, and then you can view your orders, etc., etc. Okay, now before we get into edit, I just want you to look at this section over here, which allows you to guess what? Make it bigger and smaller, so you can actually view them a little bit better. Okay, so just like you have in Picasso, you have this ability to zoom in, zoom out. Okay, now this edit feature, you have a number of different things. You have album properties, okay, which allows you to look at the name, the date, etc., how you want to share it, things like that. You have the album cover. When you send it to people, what is going to be the album cover? Maybe I want it to be this guy. So that's going to be, like if you look over here on the right hand side, that's going to be kind of a little thumbnail that people see. Okay, then you also have an um, album map. We won't really work with that too much. That's basically like I could say this was taken in Cuba. You know, I type in Cuba, okay, and then click on go, okay, and it takes me to Cuba. Nice, okay, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, but not, I don't want to focus on that too much. Okay, so we'll come over here. 
Okay, and then um, captions, you can add in captions after the fact, if you like. That's actually a nice tool. I click on captions, and then I can say, let's see, tobacco farm, just like that. And then whenever I send out a slide, I'm gonna click on done, the bottom. And then whenever I send it out as a slideshow, when people watch it, they'll actually see those captions on there. That's pretty neat. So if you didn't put in captions to begin with, you can put in captions afterwards. Okay, then you can also just delete the album. If you don't want it anymore, you can just go ahead and delete it right then and there. All right, good enough, it's gone, done, make some more room. All right, and then you can also organize and reorder. All right, so as simple as clicking and dragging, I got this guy over here, I got this guy over here. Okay, do whatever I wanna do. Okay, and I can also delete a photo, right? I select it, it has the blue box around it, I click delete. Okay, you can copy, make another version of it, things like that, okay? And then you can also sort them by date and by file name, if you like, in this little drop down. Okay, click on done. Okay, let's look at a couple other things now that we've seen that part. Now that we're in a photo, we're gonna get some different edit menus, right? So we can say, we can say okay, now that we're looking at this, set as album cover. I can delete this photo right in this. I can edit in Picasa, which is really neat. It's actually taking me back to Picasa with this photo and then link it back to the web albums. Okay, or I can bring this to another already existing album if I like. Okay, but it's, it's copying it as opposed to moving it. All right, so if I copy this and I have two versions, moving it, I'll have it removed from this album and then moved into another album. Okay, so very straightforward, I think. All right, and I can also go forward and backwards um, right within this, and I can also rotate. Okay, now a couple of last things is um, on the right-hand side, actually, no, let, let's go back to view all. Okay, and on the right-hand side, it says link to this album. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. This allows you to actually send, if you don't wanna do the share option for whatever reason, you can just um, highlight this link and then right click and then copy it, all right? So therefore you've now copied this link and then you paste it into an email, just like it says right there. This page HTML to embed into a website, this allows you to actually embed a slideshow into a website. This is actually HTML code, which is really, really very thoughtful of them to do that. So they, that's, that has that ability. Okay, so watch this again and again and again just to really get a good idea of, of what it is. I'm going fast just to stay within the, the YouTube time frame, but you'll see this is an excellent, excellent resource and a really great tool. And uh, use it well and definitely watch this again if, if some of this uh, went a little bit too fast. All right, have fun and good luck.